negative or positive? How are nuclear acid tests processed? China appears to have tamed the second wave of coronavirus in just 21 days with no death. Thanks to a massive testing drive which hit 500,000 per day. How are so many tests conducted? I'm Rachel and I will take you inside a laboratory in Daxing District, Beijing's epicenter. Last week, this was a basketball court. Now, three labs have been built here. Surprise! Is the lab different from what you expected? These inflatable cabins were built in three days at a very low cost. There are four lab function zones with a daily capacity of 10,000 tests. Being in close contact with the samples from the epicenter, I have to wear P3 level protective clothing. I'm a bit nervous, but mostly curious. How on earth do the testing results come out? Here we go, let's check it out. This laboratory has negative pressure. That means the air pressure inside is lower than outside. Air flows inward, so cannot contaminate the world outside the lab. I heard that Huashengshan Hospital in Wuhan had negative pressure wards, and I was always curious. What's it like to be in there? I can clearly feel the wind flowing in. Now I'm going to open the second door. The first lab is for the packing. These are four samples from 92 local residents. I follow the whole process till we get a final result. I hope they turn out to be negative. The swamp samples are unpacked and then put into 92 phase with preservation solution in order to extract the nucleic acid in the following steps. This step is the most laborious. However, China's self-developed automatic machine improves the efficiency. One machine can process 192 samples in 40 minutes. This is the second cabin called the Extraction Lab. The 92 swamp samples have been delivered here. Now the samples are all in the plates. The technicians will use a special solution to split the cells and extract RNA for further analysis. Between the laboratories is a one-way window to prevent cross-infections. This is the amplification laboratory, the last step. The plate on top carries the samples you are tracking. What's next? Uh,我们通过将RNA转化成DNA,之后呢,进行基因的扩增,把荧光信号的采集,最后我们通过对比, uh, 就可以得出一定样本一定样本中病毒的相对含量它用的是这个病毒所有的这个特异的核酸的片段来作为目标来做检测整个病毒即使是它变化很快它还是比较保守的过程不会对核酸检测本身就我们目前用到的这个核酸